Ever wondered why some towns just disappear beneath the sands? Today I'm diving into the mystery of sand overrun and how to stop it. These ghost towns, once bustling with life, are now silent witnesses to the power of nature and human impact. First up, natural disasters. Towns near coastlines or deserts are vulnerable to hurricanes, tsunamis, and sandstorms. These forces of nature can blanket entire communities in sand, making them uninhabitable. Then there's climate change. Rising sea levels and changing weather patterns contribute to desertification. Sand starts to creep into towns, slowly turning them into deserts. Economic decline also plays a role. When industries collapse, people leave. As towns empty out, they become ghost towns, eventually swallowed by sand. Environmental degradation like deforestation and overgrazing can destabilize soil. This leads to erosion and the spread of sand, forcing residents to abandon their homes. War and conflict can't be ignored either. In conflict zones, towns are often deserted. Over time, nature takes over and sand becomes the new ruler. Let me tell you about Kolmanskop in Namibia. Once a diamond mining hub, it's now engulfed by desert sands. As diamonds ran out, so did the people, leaving behind a sandy ghost town. Epulu in the Democratic Republic of Congo is another example. Ongoing conflict forced residents to flee and now the town is overgrown and abandoned. Even in the United States, places like Sanderson, Texas have fallen victim. Once a thriving railroad stop, it's now buried under shifting sands. So how do we fight back? Planting vegetation is a powerful tool. Native grasses and trees can stabilize soil and trap sand. Constructing barriers like sand fences and walls can block the movement of sand protecting infrastructure. We can also use sand dune stabilization techniques. Dune planting, fencing, and sandbagging help keep sand where it belongs. Regular maintenance is key. Cleaning streets and buildings prevents sand accumulation and keeps areas accessible. Finally, smart urban planning and land management can make a big difference. Incorporating sand and soil conservation into development plans helps mitigate the impact of sand movement. By taking these steps, communities can stand strong against the encroaching sands. It's a battle we can win, but it requires effort, planning, and a deep respect for the power of nature. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights on how we can protect our world.